Should I eat it or no? I say no. Today, we are at Wendy's, getting the Baconator. Sorry, we didn't want food anyways. Hello, welcome to Wendy's, I'll be right with you. Sure. All right, what can I do for you? Okay, I think I'm gonna do the number four Baconator, a large. What's your drink? Uh, do you guys have Sierra Mist? Uh, we have Sprite. Sprite will do. All right. People just don't like my hat. Or maybe they do and it's just not that strange. I'm wishing for crispy bacon. Okay, thank you. I hope the bacon is crispy. And we've landed. Today's large meal came with a fry, a large Sprite, and the bacon hater. It also came with a special guest. Hey! Tell them what you got. I, so I, I can't have the glutens, right? No glutens. The glutens is bad for me. So I got small fry, Diet Coke, and a lettuce wrapped number two. No tomatoes, of course. No one likes the red devils. They respect the, the glutens, the non-gluten people. Look at this lettuce wrapped burger. They also gave me knife and fork, which is good. Cause this, if you've never had a lettuce wrapped burger, there's nothing messier. So that's that fresh beef square patties at Win uh, Wendy's. The fries. Like Wendy's fries, I always thought were good. Uh, Burger King, terrible. They're, they're sort of crispy. Mm -mm. I can hear it. I can hear crisping in your mouth. It's crispy. The, the ends are crispy. I have just about the right amount of salt. They're a little bit beefier than like um, McDonald's fry, which, by the way, is probably the best. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just tasting potatoes. Well, that's that's what you should taste. I know, but like it's too potatoey. Too potatoey. Let's unwrap. Hey, look at that. Look at this. It's not much, but I love it. I see ketchup and mayo. It smells good. There's a crispy bacon right there. You're gonna want that piece. Yep. For it looks pretty beefy. Yeah, it's hanging off the edges. Look at this sorts of goodness. It looks pretty good. The presentation is not that bad. Look at this. Crispy bacon. Go ahead. I, I've had bad bacon the last experience. I'm just having, having bad memories. Let's listen for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's actually okay. Good. Let's give this a whirl. The bun looks kind of burnt. Did they burn the bun? No. Okay. They got the cheese working pretty good. Mm-hmm. The two patties, the two cheeses, the ketchup, the mayo, the bacon, all blend together. Yeah. Pretty good. Man, I'm struggling with this lettuce. That's the problem. Like, I can't even cut it. I'll tell you though, about this burger, I don't taste the bacon on here. I haven't tasted it yet. Really? Mm-hmm. When you take a bite, there's, it's really juicy. Mm-hmm. There's just a lot of juiciness to this burger, which is good. It's not coming through? Like, mm -hmm. you think that would be the, the thing of the burger, right? After its namesake. Yeah, they always seem to go a little heavy on the mustard here for some reason. I don't quite know why. Um, is it fresh, never frozen here? Yeah, that's, that's what it is here. You know, mine doesn't have mustard on it, but I do agree. <laughs> but think, Well, true, yours doesn't. Th think about how many places do mustard, though. Not really any. Hmm. When you go to fast food McDonald's, doesn't do mustard. They do. Yeah. I don't think so. They do. I don't think so. Someone help me. Does, is, there, is there mustard on McDonald's burgers? This big piece of lettuce here. I could not buy a taste of bacon. You did? Mm-hmm. I can we sell for sheep all the time. Oh. Safety first. What are you struggling with? I wish there was veggies. There's nothing, and, and, and that was decided when, when I got the burger. I knew that there was nothing on there, but I think lettuce. Like you're kind of missing it? Like, yeah, there just needs to, maybe an onion. You want some of this lettuce? Yeah, if you could throw some of that on here. Baconator, add lettuce. Add lettuce. Uh huh. Yeah, because I imagine there's not much of a texture, because it's all kind of just meaty. Creating the appearance, go. I give it a 10, because let me tell you, as someone that can't have the glutens, it's nice to get something that was like, it was looked like it was specifically packaged for the gluten-free guy. Specifically packaged. It looked nice, everything was, I mean, I, I, I can't give it nothing but a 10. Mine was pretty good. I'm uh, Appearance, I'll, I'll give it a 10 too as well. It was nicely made, then was 
slopped over to one side. Mm -hmm. If you look at the picture of it, other than maybe it was maybe smashed a little bit, but looked, I mean, it, it was pretty close. It looked pretty close, yeah. it did. For mine, the taste and the flavor. Yeah. The meat was seasoned really good. Mm -hmm. It's peppery, and I like that. A little bit of salt, so you can taste the pepper coming through, but overall, the biggest flavor that hit me was the mustard. Mm -hmm. So like I was talking about while I was eating, it's like there was a lot of mustard on there, but I mean, because I like to taste the meat. So Where's like, the beef? Like you like to taste the bacon. Taste-wise, um, I, I wish, I wish there was a vegetable. Overall though, taste was pretty good. The the bacon had, was, had a good crispiness to it. The meat was, like he had mentioned, pretty pretty, pretty well seasoned. Flavors, what, what were things that popped out? Was there something that was too much, something that was too little? I know you mentioned mustard. That's what I'm sticking with. So I'm giving, I'll give it a nine. Um, so taste and flavor, I'm probably gonna give. Taste an eight, flavor a seven. Just would you would you recommend the product? And if so, how many people out of 10 would you recommend the product to? I would, if we're talking the- People who are gluten, <laughs> gluten free. Well, and not, you know, so I'm, I'm not gluten free because I will die. I'm gluten free because it just messes me, my system up a little bit. So I'm not allergic to gluten. Like some people, I have like a serious gluten problem. It's called celiac disease. Right, because that's one thing I miss is, is like burgers and things like that. So I usually have to go with no bun, which is no fun. No bun, no fun. <laughs> I just made that up. But yes, I, I would recommend it because it was packaged nicely, comes with fork and knife, and you can get right through. So it's nice to see that uh, Wendy's kind of made the effort. They, they care. Yep. I, I would recommend my product to to eight out of 10 people and price. Zing! My large combo was $9.99. So for the amount of meat that was on this burger, the large drink and the large fry, fairness and price, I'm gonna give that a 10. There's probably, I think I counted four or five bacon strips, two patties, two layers of cheese. Bacon strips, bacon strips, bacon strips. You call it soda or pop? I'm a soda guy. Cause you're my boy. I went outside to get me a cold pop and I thought, I thought someone was, was barbecuing. <laughs> and I said, oh no, Jesus, Jesus it's, it's a fire. fire. I, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. So great in the product out of 50 total points, the Baconator did score a 43, which is a 87%. Mine scored a 47 out of 50. I basically just knocked it down a point on three of the categories. It's a 94%. 94, so that's, that's what I say. Hello, sir. Glad you could park right next to us when the entire lot is completely open. Here. You must have saw your ice cream hat. This is a poop hat. Anyway. He took his t-shirt original design, revised it, and now he's got a new one, and it's gonna look like this. Bing! If you wanna buy that shirt, it's still 20 bucks. Just let me know before May 9th, um, or at least on or before May 9th. I'm ordering the shirts on May 10th. If you want a t-shirt, <laughs> just email them. The link is in the description below. Correct. You should also subscribe. Smash that like button, boy! Hit the bell, what does that the, do? The notification bell will actually yeah. notify you when I post, so you don't have yeah. to go searching my page for my videos. Bing! That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you liked it, again, like it. If you didn't, still like it. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, Put the hit the, no, the post notification button, and we'll see you later.